Hi there, I've been asked this question before and it came up again and it is do you have to create the task if you're trying to create an Among Us game inside the canvas or not? So is there a way of actually creating the task without using the canvas? And the answer is yes, you can make the task not inside the canvas. Now I'll show you the setup that I followed to make that happen. If you watched the tutorial when I was building uh, this task, you saw that I actually made it inside the scene. So it was separate. To use it inside the game, what I did was actually everything except the camera. I put it inside of a game object. So right here I have task. So if I remove that and add this game object here, you can see it's about the same, except I changed the scale so it scaled correctly in the game. So that's what I did. But there's one more thing that I did for it to actually order correctly for the images. So if you take a look at one of the images, right here you have the additional settings for sorting layer, and I created another sorting layer called task. I put all of the task sprites onto a task sorting layer. That way it's easier to sort them. So the default is usually the lowest layer and you can add other layers if you want and change the sorting of it how you like. So with this setup, then if I go and open my main game, all I have to do to load that task in my game is add this task to the main camera. Once you do that, it's over all of the other objects that inside the game because of the sorting layer and you can interact with it like that. So click play. If I do that task, the task disappears and I actually connected a E key to pull up the task. So here is the task again. I can click E to turn that off and the character, I can control it that way. So that's what I mean about the option of using the sorting layer to display the task over your other game sprites. If someone is interested in how I created the script for loading that task, I attached the script to the main camera because that's where I want to create the task. Right here for that script, load task, I passed in the task that I want to load, I just have it one. You can load multiple and then pass in parameters to specify which one you want to load and have different conditions that will need to be met for the task to be able to be loaded. So inside here, all I have is the task that I showed. You can make it to an array if you have multiple tasks. And then I have some private variables. So the current task is uh, for me to store the current open task. And I also have a connection to character movement. So I can disable the movement of my character once I load my task. So once you click E, the first thing I do is check if the character movement script is not set. Then I go and find an object of type character movement to connect that script. And the next thing is I check for current task. If current task is null, that means that there isn't a game object with a task. So that means that I actually want to create a task. So I instantiate a new task and parent it to the camera. Set the character movement to false to turn off that movement script. If you click E again and the current task does exist, then I set the character movement enabled to true and destroy the current task which will set the current task back to null. So that's just a simple way of loading a task. Of course, there's lots more that you need to add for it to be involved with conditions inside your game, but that's a good start. Hopefully this helps someone out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.